Good evening, YouTube. I think I'm going to start saying that. That sounds better. Or good evening, tubers. Something like that. That sounds better. Or good day, or hello, or whatever. But it's evening, so I'm going to go with good evening. I do talk bollocks half the time, don't I? Anyway, what is the time? It's 20 past 11. Um... I've just uploaded one of my little um, a points of view video, we'll call it, where I take a news article or something that's caught my attention and just video myself giving my point of view. Then I upload it to YouTube and then anyone that comes across the video can give their point of view. That's the whole idea of it. Anyway, I've had a... <laughs> Not a really, 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 you know, not a really, really busy day, but busy enough. Uh, the red and silver mountain bike was collected actually before 12. I was in the middle of putting um, some cable ends on the end of the brake cables when he turned up. But he seemed happy with it. He paid the full 30 quid, so I went and put 20 quid in my bank and bought the um, red lensed road lamp on eBay. Getting a bit carried away now, aren't I? But uh, one thing I've learnt in life: when you get the opportunity, jump on it, because they don't come around often. And uh, the one I got was the um, twenty pounds one, the um, JSP Mini Light with the red lens. Um, because the Dorman one I want, the red lens, is auction, not buy it now, so. And that doesn't end for another couple of days, I don't think I will check that. Um, I've also decided to sell the Carrera hybrid bike. And just for the simple reason, since I got it working, I've not ridden it once. I've ridden it around outside. I think Actually, I think I rode it once, and that is it. Not ridden it since. And it's taken up space in the shed. I've got another one I'm likely to sell or put up for sale tomorrow because I just want it out of my friggin' way as well. Got bored of it. Possibly. I've got the Giant, I've got the Claude Butler, I've got the Rally for mountain bikes. Then I've got the other Claude Butler hybrid. I've got the Gents 3 speed, the little folding cycle which is also 3 speed, and the racing bike, or road bike. So yeah, I don't think I need three hybrid style bicycles, so at least one of them is going for now. I may not put the other one up tomorrow, I'll just see how tomorrow pans out. Um, but I'll put it up for 45 quid and got someone coming to look at it, so I've got to be up early. Um, the other thing I did was put the new batteries in these. This one did need it. It was actually running a little bit low. 8 point something volts. But we still had plenty of life left in it because it was uh, still reading new batteries fine. But eh. there was just something in me that was just saying don't trust the batteries. So uh, I put a battery in the other one as well. But I think I may have misinterpreted what the bat meant in the corner because uh, I tested the battery afterwards, the one that came out, and it tested at 9.5 volts, so plenty of juice. <laughs> so, but uh, there isn't a lot of difference in readings between this old thing. Oops, and the other one over there. Um, I tested that one of those new JCB 1.5 volt batteries, and uh, this one tested it at 1.64 volts, and the other one over there tested it at 1.65 volts. So there's really nothing between them. <laughs> you know, it's measuring the battery at roughly what they should be when they're new. And I think I said in the other video anywhere between 
five, five and one point six usually, give or take, depending on the quality of the battery as well. <coughs> My uh, American road lamp should arrive tomorrow. It took two days for it to arrive last time, so it should arrive tomorrow. So, like I said, I've got to be up early anyway, so I should be up for the postman. Um, they're not signed for, so I could actually put a note on the door that just says, you know, leave parcel in cupboard, just in case I'm not here. Um... I don't even lock the outside cupboard, there's nothing in there worth nicking. And unless someone manages to get in through the closed door downstairs, the main door, then chances are no one's going to steal anything. So I don't bother locking the outside cupboard. Not unless someone wants a bicycle wheel, bicycle forks, bicycle handlebars, freewheels, you know, bicycle parts basically. <laughs> It's all that cupboard is full of, mostly bicycle parts. Oh, LCD TV, a very small one. Uh, on a wall bracket. Uh, what was the other one? There's a few other knickknacks in there. I can't remember. Right. I've got to get that, well, I'll start that again. I've got to take that advent laptop that I put Windows 10 on to Mum's at the weekend. Because the one she's borrowing has decided it wants to uh, overheat and shut down. <laughs> so it's been pissing off. I don't know what it is with her and laptop. It's not her fault. Nine times out of ten it's not her fault anyway. Um, well this one isn't, it's just developed an overheating problem for some reason. Um, but she just doesn't seem to have good luck with laptops. Uh, mind you, I suppose, because she's only been able to use old machines, it probably doesn't help. Um, I could give her, her one back, but what's the point in that? It's no different to the one she's now borrowed from me to use because uh, I did get her old one over there of Verking. It was the hard drive. I've got an old Toshiba in the bedroom that um, I put Windows XP on but I tried online I could not find the drivers. So I just threw the hard drive in here once I took the old one out and uh, it booted straight up into Windows XP. So all I really had to do was um, just install all the necessary drivers, which is what I've done. So there's a nice sort of uh, entertainment notebook, as HP call it. The HP Pavilion DV1000 Entertainment Notebook. That's actually pretty good. I do like this design. That's why I've got this one working again. Because it, to me, it is a very nice um, laptop. I would have liked something like this years ago when XP was still, you know, the don of the Microsoft world. So yeah, you can actually turn the touchpad off with this one, which isn't a bad thing because that is extremely sensitive in the sense that even if you just touch it like that, it'll register it as a click. I don't know if there's... I did put the um, touchpad synaptic software on here that I can download. So I don't know if I can adjust the sensitivity of it. I hope so, because it drives me up the friggin' wall. I'm trying to do something and you're trying to like move the cursor and it accidentally clicks on something. That was... <laughs> it really was doing my head in. Um, I wanted to do or attempt a Windows 10 install on that one. But the uh, computer said no. <laughs> it come up with some sort of 
error, I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but whatever it was, Windows 10 didn't want to install, so that's a shame. I was hoping it would, you know, because I want to see, you know, how low I could go spec-wise with Windows 10. It could just be that laptop, because I know that laptop is a bitch. That really is, I swear that laptop is female. I jest, by the way, but... <laughs> That bloody thing really is a temperamental piece of wank. <laughs> oh dear. If I leave a pen drive plugged into a USB port, it won't boot. <laughs> For some reason. And sometimes it likes to freeze, and then it'll unfreeze, and then it'll freeze, and then it'll unfreeze, and then that'll work fine. Stupid bloody thing. It does work, it does still work with Windows XP. I can't find the Wi-Fi drivers for it though. That's what I don't get. A laptop like that I found every single driver for it. Video, LAN, Wi-Fi, um, all the software to run all the you know DVD playing stuff, the quick play, etc. Just got here, audio and DVD, and found all the drivers for that. Yet, a laptop like that one can't find the Wi Fi driver. Video driver, yep. Audio driver, yep. Everything else like that, found. Easy. Wi Fi driver, no, sorry, I got that wrong. I did find the Wi Fi driver, but it hasn't worked. So I don't know if the Wi-Fi card itself is faulty on that one. I could take it out and try another one. I do have a few kicking around here. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I just uploaded one of my little uh, points of view videos, I'm going to call them. Where I uh, <sighs> take a subject from that day, from the news or whatever, and... Uh, record my point of view on it basically and put it up on YouTube for the world to see no, I don't think the world will see it but that's what it's there for right I can't think of anything else that I want to talk about now I think that is it for this little video blog vlog vid vlog whatever you want to call it um, so I've got things to get organised tomorrow, I've got to be up early, again, I don't like getting up early, I don't want to get up early, I haven't had a chance to tinker with any Lego today, uh, did I say my American lamp, barricade lamp should arrive in the morning, yeah I think I did. Mm. All right, I'm going to call it a night. I'm just going to get the title and um, tags and whatnot sorted out on this video, and then I think I'm going to piss off to the bedroom. So, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.